Well, it's just three days away from the government's one-year anniversary in office, and conversations from all corners have been focused on assessing exactly what's been achieved in the past 12 months. We took to the streets again, this time to find out exactly how favorable is the perception of what government has done. Based on the feedback, some say it's still too early to give a substantial report. However, others weren't as generous with their reviews. Crime and education were at the top of the list for a failing grade. If I just say, excellent. Compared to what we had before, excellent. We need some improvements, right? Have room for improvements and room for, you know, changes and stuff, but excellent. Well, I'm most disappointed is how the country going under the crisis. In terms of like, um, like looking to no back pay, sending home the workers and them, you know? Well, seeing that is one year, we still need to give them a chance to get themselves more organized. But as far as it is, I'm glad that they are cleaning up things and getting things in their way. I, and I think you should put more effort into everything, especially the crime situation. It's really devastating and frightening. The more the real climbing high, and I think you need to do something more about that. And from this is really a point of view, they should not interfere with the primary education, but they have to pay to buy books. Why they don't tell the children, the people, the parents in the home voting, hey, no school books all day, all day buy. Why didn't tell them that in the general election? Since 1956, I was an EPNM. in the PNM. In the days of Dr. William, right? So nobody can fool me with the PNM government, right? Mm -hmm. Right, so what you ever put all you come in here with, all you can fool me with that.